Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. In this example, an isosceles right triangle whose legs measure six is continuously rotated about one of its legs to form a three-dimensional object. We're trying to figure out which type of three-dimensional object that will be. So let's imagine, right, I have an isosceles right triangle, so let's draw that. And what I know is that the legs measure six, and because it's isosceles, both of the legs are in equal measure. Right, so six and six. What we're doing is we're gonna rotate about one of its legs. So let's imagine right, that I keep this one stationary. I'm gonna take this bottom one and I'm gonna spin it. Right? So I'm taking this here and I'm going to spin it about that leg. Right? Now what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna end up with a circular base, right? But because it's a triangle, we're thinking of, okay, what well, should have a triangular shape with a circular base, and that's a cone. So automatically, I can eliminate one and two, right? Now, if I look at my object here, right? Because I'm spinning it, look at where the center is, right? The center is right at that vertex of the triangle, right? Which has a leg of six. When I spin, that leg now is the radius of my circle. So my radius is 6, right? And because the diameter is twice the radius, then I know the diameter is going to be 2 times 6, which is 12. So this is going to give me a cone with a diameter of 12.